Hellions, good morning. Let's have a staring contest. Are you ready? Let's see who can win. We'll do this until the intro comes on. Uh oh, I'm about ready to lose. My eyes dry. Uh oh, no, intro's gonna come on. I win. So again, good morning. Um, I have decided that it is time to start archiving the vlogs once again. I am grossly behind. Um, I started out this morning in June. <laughs> I have not archived the vlogs since June, so there's like, there's a lot. There's a lot. So I've got those, and I'm burning, and I'm doing this and doing that because I put them all on DVD, and it's burning right now, and I've got all these over here. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh, what a process. Oh, and the process, <laughs> this is the result. Look at that. Holy cow. That's just one. I've got like another one. I've got a lot. Okay, so anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. There's no appointments right now. I do have to go out and get the license tabs for the truck. Got to do that. It's kind of muy importante. And importante? I always get that. I'm not Spanish. I always get that mixed up. Oh, coffee would be nice too. Coffee, 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 coffee. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say right now. I just called the scrap metal place to see how much they were paying per pound for just your normal scrap, shreddable, cast iron, the garbage stuff, you know, the the majority, that's what I dump. Five years ago, it was up to like 18 cents a pound. I think it even got up to like 24 cents a pound, which was like awesome. You get 100 pounds of that and that's 24 bucks and that's pretty good. Um, what, wait, hold on, 24, no, $2.40, whatever. You no, know, yeah, 24 bucks. And I'm just trying to do math on the fly when I can't even think of the proper words to use. It's difficult for me. I just called and they told me that it was 0 0.0025. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm thinking like percent or ton or... No, those were not cookies. 0 0.0025 cents a pound. Because I'm commercial and I'm a business, they will pay 0 0.005. Half a penny a pound that is hands down the worst and i joked with her i'm like wow are we gonna have to start paying you to take it and she says well it might come to that but not right now i'm like oh that's horrible i was going to go to the shop today the the old shop and i was going to pick up their scrap or whatever <laughs> by the time i start the truck and shut it off i've already lost my money oh Oh, that's horrible. I'm laughing because it's so horrible and I don't know why it is. That sucks. In a little while, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to because I've got a lot of good ideas for the haunt. I'm getting really excited. I just hope I can pull it off. I hope I can do it. And I just say that I hope I can pull it off and I hope I can do it because that's my disclaimer in case it doesn't happen. Because we know that life gets in the way. Through the steering wheel. Wow, you guys are talented, look at that. So here I am um, doing like chores and running around and stuff like that at the end of the day. And I thought to myself, it's like, huh, I need to corpse something. <laughs> it's just, this random thought just popped in my head. I actually texted it to one of my friends and I'm like, I need to corpse something. I'm going through corpsing withdrawals. <laughs> I really do need to corpse something. And I want to do it differently. Um, gosh, oh, I haven't showed you guys yet. I know that's my excited hand going. Um, I really want to show you guys the stuff that I found on the computer at home because mummies and mummified bodies look so much different than what we're used to when we corpse skeletons and stuff for haunts as far as like decay and stuff. But we have to remember that most of these skeletons that are like mummified have been in dry conditions with no like, I guess, bugs and stuff like that. So the decay is like, it's, it's really, really different than what we're used to. So I need to, I need to find some cheap skeletons. I need to start corpsing. We need to do it now, because there's got to be a lot of corpsing stuff in this. There's a lot of corpsing to be done. This haunt's going to be epic. I'm excited. I really am. <laughs> okay, sorry. Insert diabolical laugh here. I just stopped by Walgreens, and they didn't have any, so I'm here at Target to try and find some uh, uh, cheap skeletons, basically. So my thoughts are, if they have some, then that's awesome. If they don't have any, it wasn't meant to be. I still see Halloween. I got a little bit of stuff here. Some here, some stuff, no skellies. All this stuff and no skeletons. Dang it. All right, it wasn't meant to be. I wish I had seen these earlier. Look at that. Peeps. What is that? 
I can't tell if it's like... I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't see it anywhere here. Ooh, ooh. Can we ask what the fox said? Excuse me, fox, what did you say? What is that? What, what? I don't understand. I'm confused. All right, so it's Darth Vader. I see that, I know that, but it looks Halloween. It doesn't look Christmas to me. It looks like the, the Grim Reaper, kind of. Oh my gosh, the Halloween store is still freaking open. Oh my gosh! So they're open till 6 p.m. I don't even know what time it is. I know it's not 6 yet. It's almost 6. This is their, their last day, last chance. I'm looking for skeletons. Skellies. 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 No skeletons. So freaking disappointed. I was excited when I saw that they were still open and I thought, I thought it was meant to be, but it was not. Too bad you guys can't see what I'm about ready to do. Oh, look at this. This is just like awesomeness. I know that was mild, but you know, I enjoyed it. I need to go four wheeling. I just have to. Did you guys see the beams? <laughs> That's so funny. It goes all the way up onto the tree up there. But my question to you guys is when should I turn the fog machine off? I mean, I'm keeping everything out for a while. I don't know why this has ever been a problem. How late do I usually keep the Halloween decorations out for? Huh. I can't remember. Uh, do you know what they call that? They call that old age. And it sucks. However, as old as I am now, tomorrow I will be older. So I need to stop complaining about it. And I would like to go inside my house. I'm talking to you guys. I'd like to go inside. Open, 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 open. Finally, I'm sitting down with you guys because I want to show you these pictures. I don't know what you guys think about an Egyptian haunt. I'm like going freaking crazy with ideas and I had something on my nose earlier. I have no idea what it was. I hope it's not there now, now that I brought your attention to it. You're gonna go back and like, oh, was it really? Oh look, Troy got something on his nose. Let's play the game. What's on Troy's nose? <laughs> I don't know. It could have been grease. Could have been a booger. I don't know. Okay, imagine this, and I know that, oh, that actually does come out pretty good. So, look at this picture here. This is freaking outstanding. This skeleton is actually embedded in dirt, which I was thinking about doing on, like, a wall or something like that. And then, I just love this picture. If you could be able to do a wall and do this with it, that would be awesome. And I think somebody even said in the comments to actually make one of these people a live actor, which would be outstanding. This, and this is coming through like garbage, but this is what I was talking about, about the mummification. Look at that. If we were to take a regular uh, skeleton, one of the poseable ones, and do this kind of mummification to it, oh my gosh, that would be outstanding. That'd be so awesome. And this is uh, an actual mummy. Mummy, these are all live pictures. Live pictures. They're happening right now. No, these are all real pictures. Um, there. And I was thinking about... Uh, and I can't remember who said it, I'm sorry, but messing also with height and not making people crawl, but at least making them stoop over to get through stuff. I like the texture of the walls and the way that the walls are done in this one. This one right here, love the lighting on this. Um, this actually right here looks like uh, what we were looking at earlier possibly, but I like all the, I believe you call it hieroglyphics, right? All the stuff on the walls there, very cool. It's not printed, it's indented, it's carved into it or chiseled into it. More of the mummification. Look at that, look at that. Just look at the ear hole, that's just so awesome. I can see in your brain. This is more than just wrapping it with plastic. I'm actually thinking that paper mache right here would do an excellent, excellent job as long as you have a good skeleton to base it off of. Uh, these are some tombs. Again, I love the lighting. I love the, the walls, the bricks. That's the theme that I'm going off. I love the dirt floor. Um, this goes to show that they do have plants, so I am going to be putting some plant work into it also. Now this, these are real mummified cats. And they actually did this to them right here. They, I don't know, it looks like a cat in a basket to me. But that's what they did. So I was thinking of doing something like that to that animatronic cat that I have on the table, that I've had on the table for a while. Um, this again is just, I just love it. You've got that pillar right here holding everything up freaking just outstanding and then this is some more this is actually it's hard to tell but there's wood planks here and here this is like some kind of table 
um, in the center, and then you've got columns here, and this goes into a different room. You got snakes on the wall right here. Just so many, so many different things. And is that it? Oh, more of the mummification. Look at that. Look at the teeth on that. See how the skin, and, and we might be able to do the plastic. I know that a lot of you will know what I'm talking about. The plastic bag wrapping stuff and just not, uh, I don't know. I still think paper mache would do a better job, but maybe the plastic would too. And what I'm talking about is you basically wrap them in some uh, plastic and then you use a blow dryer to shrink the plastic around them. Um, so I don't know. Oh, and there's another one. Uh, got Notice the hair, the detail in the hair. The hair is still attached, which is outstanding. But, and he's half wrapped. So, and I, oh, that's not it. There's another one there. And we're back, okay, now we're back. I'm so excited about this. And, oh, I wanted to show you guys the costume. So imagine this also, if you were to get this costume, and thank you to you guys who are talking and saying that this is Anubis. I believe this is how you pronounce it. All right, so imagine that you were to get this costume right here. Obviously, you know, dust it up a bit, make it look a little dirty. Um, but get two of these costumes, one actor will be live in it, the other one would be like a mannequin dressed, and both people would just be there still, and one would obviously move and chase you or do whatever. My god, I'm so excited! Alright, now I gotta make it happen. I've got the, I've got the theme, um, I, I, I've gotta make it happen now. So let's do COC because it's, uh, I got some place that gotta be in the morning, and then, uh, We'll, we'll keep diving into this. So so all of the props, I don't want to hear about it. All of the props are, are out the window right now. This is what I'm concentrating on. Let's get my mind off of things too. So we're going to brainstorm. You guys, put your brainstorms down in the comments and I will include them. Oh my gosh, my camera has a hair in it. Interesting. Okay, um, so, so far, um, uh, box and storage area with like uh, TNT, barrels, uh, and above, I want an actor to have falling dirt. Like... The, the sound in the room would be like earthquake, kind of gravel moving, uh, bricks moving, stuff like that. And then I want like a little bit of dirt to be like not on the people, but like in front of the people. Just to give that that kind of feeling. Um, let's see. And we already talked about the Anubis costume. One static and one is the actor. Uh, mummify the cat in the kitchen. Um, there's some scorpion skeletons that are going for cheap right now that I would like to get. Um, I want to get a rock that rolls, that rolls towards you. And it basically, you know, it would like almost hit you, but not. Um, falling ceiling, um, walls that, that close in on you. Um, I want a water feature. I want snakes and vines, a swinging blade booby trap. I talked about that last night. And lighting um, on the walls, red, white, browns. And because the walls are like that, kind of yellows, but I don't want yellow because yellow will wash out the walls. Like I said, I'm getting excited. We'll see how this progresses. Um, okay, let's do some cock. Baldy Jack. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, Troy, I also do that. Do what? What, 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 what did I do? Okay, I've got a short-term memory, so please restate the comment in the question. Or wait, the question in the comment. Yeah, restate the question in the comment so I know what you're talking about. Capzone 2, did you say booby trap in next year's haunt? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I said boobies. Oh, little Giles said that too. Yes, uh, I did. Matthew Rondell. Random question, is Phoenix allowed an iPad or is he too young for an iPad? Um, well, yes, he is too young. Number two, they're really expensive. And number three, if I don't have an iPad, I'm not going to give him an iPad. That's a random question. Little Giles and that Barb Girl, you don't have to use foam for block walls. You have a ton of panels that can be easily faux painted to resemble large limestone block walls. Love it. Absolutely love it. Great idea because less cost, obviously, because, yeah. And, uh less work is is paramount so i could actually start like pulling those out and probably not now because it's raining but start doing those like early early summer like spring summertime see north it seems to me that you're going back to the origins of this channel i really hope so i know the financial situation isn't good but surely i'd love to see a slow progression of building up to next year's haunt well yeah that's 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 my idea that's my goal that's what i want to do it's just you know life and i'm not going to start stop vlogging because I've, I've got a possible world record on my hands yeah, right? Haunted House 1408. Ah, babyface Troy. <laughs> and don't forget about... I gotta look this up. I'm gonna write it down. Uh, Cannel pick jars. That's what they'd use to store your organs in, organs in when they mummified you. I did not know that. I even put your name down next to it. 
just so I can give credit. Wow, Underworld Haunt Productions. So I just realized I've been watching for a year, and I've never watched a YouTuber that long before. Keep it going. Thank you very much. That That's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, this is it. DMB41 ever. Um, yeah, when you were talking about your ideas for the haunt, I had a vision of a row of old, decrepit mummies and have only one in an actor or in a costume pop out so that all of them would be static except for the actor and that's that's where i got that from and yes i would like that and i wrote that down so i need to give credit to that too i'm, I'm try i try to give credit where it's due guys i mean because i realize a lot of these ideas are yours <laughs> spirit guy 222 why do you look like tom hanks when you shave your face i don't think i look like tom hanks i look like forrest gump maybe forrest gump i don't know do i look like forrest gump because me and Jenny, we was like peas and carrots until she stuck her hands in my chocolate box. And that kind of like, that kind of pissed me off. I said, I don't like that, Jenny. That's my chocolate. Okay, I'm stopping now. Trip 27, but Troy, this time you really want a monster in the box. Probably the best thing you could put into a... a oh, okay, that's a big word that Troy does not know, so I need to look that up. Uh, sarcophagus? Fogus? I'll say Fogus because that sounds better. And the last comment of the night, Jordan Winton. Aw, oh, Troy, you look so different. Uh, it'll change. Hair will grow back, and then I'll shave it all off again, and then I'll grow the goatee back at the beginning of December. Uh, anyways, I have noticed comments have went down tremendously after Halloween. It always does, but us true hellions stay all year. I can't wait to see what this year holds. Have you ever went dumpster diving at Spirit? I hear people doing it all the time, but I haven't gone myself. Um, no, I haven't, but that's a dang good idea. That's a darn, that's a darn good idea right there. I'll tell you what. All right, guys. I'm not going to keep that up. Happy hunting. See you guys tomorrow. Um, let the comments flow. Let your ideas flow. Brainstorming. Put it down below. Put it down below over there. Not over here. That's bad. As the keeper of the gate, I don't always have time to relax. But when I do, I always enjoy a good cup with the mouth of hell. Stay spooky, my friends.